I recently made a video on how to insert a subtotal into your dataset table like this. Now, I am going to show an alternate method for computing the subtotal. First, you're going to select all the branches and locations from A2 all the way down to A27, and then press Ctrl plus G. This will open a go to pop-up window. In this go to pop-up, you're going to select special, and in the go to special options, select blanks and click OK. What this does is select all the blank cells in the range you just highlighted. Next, you're going to populate all these blanks with the adjacent value. To do this, type equals A2 in the active blank cell and then press Ctrl plus Enter. This ensures that the formula applies to all the blank cells at once. You will now see that sections are being formed, which is necessary for using the subtotal feature. Now, select your entire dataset table, from A1 to C27, or whichever range your table covers. Then go to the Data tab. In the ribbon, locate the outline section and click on the subtotal icon. A pop-up will appear. In the pop-up, under at each change in, select the column called branch and location, which is your first column. Under use function, choose SUM, as this is the function you'll use to calculate the subtotal. Then, under add subtotal to, check the column where your sales data is stored. Leave the remaining checkboxes as they are and then click OK. Once you do this, you will see that the subtotal for each section, like the one for New York, New York, is calculated. Additionally, the subtotal for each individual section is displayed, and this method also calculates the grand total at the bottom of your table. Like and follow for daily tips.